So I just want to apologize for not having a video last week because my mom and sister were visiting and I didn't really vlog. So um, now I'm, you know, back at it. Going to be filming a video today, obviously. That's why we're talk. I'm talking to a camera. So um, I need a pen. Okay, I don't like that noise. Okay, um, so yeah, so today I think I'm going to show you around of all my favorite places to take photos in Palm Springs. Um, I'm a photographer on the side, part-time, whatever, I, I'm a photographer. So I'm obviously based in Palm Springs and all of my photo shoots for the most part are done here. And so my favorite thing is finding new spots. I obviously have all the spots that I currently go to. Um, my number one spot that I always will take someone to if they want to go there are the windmills. I will 100% always go to the windmills. It's my favorite spot to shoot. So I'm gonna take you around to all of my favorite spots. I need to stop and get gas because I have like 30 miles and I have to also pay my rent. So, you know, I can continue to live here. So, if you wanna make sure I live here too, make sure to like and subscribe. Watch the ads, please. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pay my rent and get gas and I will see you at the first location. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me, but obviously the first location that I absolutely love shooting at is the windmills. Um, it's at the Amtrak station. No idea if this thing actually runs, but you pull in and you come up this path and there's actually a way that you can get a lot closer to the windmills and I'm pretty sure it's not trespassing. Literally all sand. I, um, I'll insert pictures of a photo shoot that I did here, but this is where I did the cheap photo shoot. I literally, I'm getting wind up, my nose, I can't breathe. The sun sets right over there, right behind the mountain. The only con to shooting here is how windy it is. It's very windy. It's not blowing, it's not always this windy, but most of the time it is. And um, I prefer to wear sandals or some sort of loose shoe that's not tennis shoes when I come here, only because of all the sand that I get in my shoes, which I now have to empty out. I have no idea if you could even hear anything I was saying, but I need to empty out my shoes because my tennis shoes have a bunch of sand in them. also recommend wearing sunglasses or a mask very handy to have here because I was doing a shoot one time and it was super windy that day and I was trying to shoot one way where the wind was coming at me and I was getting sand in my eyes so it hurt <laughs> and you can't shoot with glasses on so I mean, unless you're using your, your, your screen, but I, I can't do that. So windmills in Palm Springs, 100% recommend. There are a few downsides, but the photos always turn out beautiful. For every location, I will add in photos from shoots that I've done in those locations, just so you can see how it turns out in photos. Also, I'm going to leave all of the, um, the addresses or the coordinates or anything um, in the description so you can find these. Not all of them have addresses like this one. Some of them are just on the side of the road. I hate when I'm on Instagram and I see a photographer shooting at a location that I would kill to shoot at and they don't know where it is. I just had that happen earlier today where I saw a photographer shoot at this one location that's somewhere in the desert, but she's like, I don't know where it is. It's, I just know how to get there. It doesn't have an actual address. So I'm going to um, make it so that's not a problem and I'm going to put in at least the coordinates if I can or 
a Google or a Apple map link or literally anything to make it so you can find these locations. And they are all in the Palm Springs area. And what's the second location? The next location will be on the side of the road. It was hard to try and describe how to get there so I just like had to pin, pin it for someone when I was doing a shoot there. Um, but it's just on the side of the road. But it's next to a big rock. You'll see it's really easy to find if you're coming right into town. So that's the next location and I will see you there. This is location number two. There's this amazing rock over here. The sun sets right over there. So you always have that amazing view. It's really just like if you want like a perfect mountain background, desert vibe. It's still windy, but it's close to the mountain, so it's not as windy as the other location. It's also right next to the road. So it is kind of on the louder side when, you know, there's cars passing, but overall, absolutely beautiful location. Okay, so this is location number three. This is the tram road. It's just a road that goes straight up the mountain and to the tramway, and it's blocked off right now. I'm pretty sure it's due to COVID. I don't know if they're letting people up or not, so I'm not exactly sure that taking pictures there now would be a very good idea. But the normal idea is to get a shot straight up the road and it just keeps on going and the mountains in the background. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll include some photos just to show you what I mean. Um, they always turn out really great and normally you can get shots without the cars going by depending on the time of day and the month that you are there. Um, but definitely a great spot um, if you want a great mountain view. Okay, so I'm probably not going to get out in many locations, but this is Vista Las Palmas. I feel like I'm one of those tour guides on a bus that's going to give you a tour of this amazing neighborhood that I one day want to call home. Um, it's just filled with a bunch of like mid-century modern homes. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, I've never had a problem getting out and taking photos in front of someone's bushes or their really nicely decorated yards or their doors or anything like that. So normally I'm assuming people are pretty cool with it. Um, just, you know, no trespassing or anything like that, obviously. I literally will drive around this neighborhood and just like, Get inspired, like get inspired, get motivated. This is like the this is the neighborhood like I want to live in one day. Um, I'm gonna take you to the spot that I really like to shoot at. I've shot there quite a few times. I was shooting there once, and the guy that actually, I think he built the house or decorated the yard. He was driving by, and he oh, and you also have this magnificent view. He was driving by as we were taking photos in front of the house and I was like, oh my God, I, you know, I, I love this house. So this little neighborhood is just gorgeous. I'll like turn my camera this way. Oh. There's just so many. I took photos uh, right along here. Um, right, this house right here is where I've taken photos. And I'm absolutely in love. So this would be um, the steps leading up to the palm trees. Absolutely gorgeous with the gorgeous mountain view in the background and in the winter time it rains here So there's like normally clouds like up above the mountain and like draping down the mountain. It's absolutely beautiful There's just so many Beautiful homes here. I'm gonna hold it here as I drive down the road just so you can see some of the gorgeous houses 
Like, I mean, come on, man, come on. Like, these houses are just gorgeous. Oh, that guy's plugging his ears. Ooh, we're gonna, I, I'll take you past the house that was for sale that I want. I love that house. I'm literally obsessed with all of the houses in this entire neighborhood. Okay, oh, I love that. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting way too excited. Okay, this house, right here. This house is or was for sale, um, and I want it. <laughs> I want it so bad. They're literally just, oh, love that one. Okay, I'm just getting way too caught up. You just don't get any better than Vista Las Palmas. Okay, so I'm going to put in like coordinates or anything I can find on an address or a way to enter into the um, area and literally pay attention to a map or something because it is very, very easy to get lost. Even like if you, you probably know your way around. Um, I've driven around here and gotten lost. So thank God for maps. Um, I couldn't find my way out. 100% as always recommend. Um, there are just so many different houses and places that you can you know go to and take pictures and get those Instagram style vibe like pictures that everyone always gets when they come to Palm Springs that was location number four I'm losing track I have a list but I'm losing track so um, I will see you at the next location Okay, I'm downtown, so I have to wear a mask, but this is location number five. I'm pretty sure you can come up the stairs. This is where we, I did a photo shoot here. I've never actually personally shot here, but I've been up here and you can come up here to the rooftop. There's not really much, but it's really cute and you have this gorgeous view. Um, so we've done a photo shoot over there. We did some on the stairs, which obviously are really nice. I'm shot here. I actually fell in that fountain. Um, I have just some photos from right here. I can insert them. The sun was just, like setting so it was shining in. It was very nice. Also love the coloring here. And I'm gonna go across the street and or across the parking lot I guess and I'll uh, show you the other part. Okay, I was shot at this door, and um, up these stairs, there's another rooftop up there that you can go to. It's not as big as the other one, but love the coloring here again. Gorgeous flowers. If you ever need to get your hair done in Palm Springs, come here. She's really nice. This is just like a cute little, like, I don't know how to describe what this is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This big cactus thing. Yeah. So if you ever need like, cute flowers to shoot with, definitely come in here. I mean, look at that. It's just so beautiful. Parking is free, as long as you can find it. Um, parking is pretty much free all everywhere downtown. But this is like just like a cute little area. You can really take pictures anywhere. These are just a few of my favorite spots. These alleyways are perfect. So on to the next location. Next location is the Saguaro Hotel. And my battery's gonna die, so this might be um, the last location I get. This is the Saguaro Hotel. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right, but it's super popular. 
due to all of its colorful walls, the balconies are all rainbow. Um, I just shot here for the first time actually um, a few weekends ago and I it was for a bachelorette party I would love to do like an actual lifestyle shoot here with like a blogger or something um, if you come here you definitely um, do need to book like a room or something to be able to go inside and like access the pool and everything I do have a few shots from within the pool area um, it's actually really nice I obviously am not going to be renting a room to give you a tour or anything but this is definitely one of the most popular hotels in Palm Springs I heard it gets booked completely for Coachella like almost all of the other hotels and they have like uh, I think Splash House is maybe held here I don't know don't quote me I've never been but if you're into like the pop of color and all of that stuff in this hotel is definitely somewhere that you should check out okay this location right here is my next favorite location um, it's just right on the wall of a store there's there's literally nothing outside, but if you ever want a really perfect white wall or like a touch of pink or anything like that, this is my favorite white wall. It's all brick. Um, sometimes, I mean, it has um, some like scuffs on it, some imperfections, but those are like easily editable. And um, there is sometimes some, you know, trash on the ground that is a downside but again you can kick it out of the way edit it out um, I'll also input some photos that I've taken here um, I have done one photo shoot here and then I've also modeled for a photo shoot here which both absolutely turned out amazing um, you can come up to this wall up here there's like a nice uh, stone wall um, by those cactuses there's also some um, there's a, another wall over there that's really nice yeah but if you want like a really nice plain brick white wall this is definitely the perfect location okay my camera battery died there is one more location that I did want to go to but it's there's you know at a admission fee you have to pay to get in type of thing I think it's only five dollars but again didn't just didn't feel like spending the money today I'm also not sure if they're open but it's the botanical garden in Palm Springs I'll put their the link to their website in the description so you can find out where they are see the photos from their website I've also modeled for a photo shoot that was done there so I'll also include some of those photos here there's just so many spots that you can shoot in there and they have a greenhouse always a great spot so that's the vibe you're going for definitely check it out i would shoot there all the time definitely when it's less when it's less hot out just because getting in the greenhouse it's very hot in there definitely recommend checking that out well, that is my video for today. I just wanted to say thank you for watching. And if you do happen to take any photos at any of these locations um, and you found them from my video, make sure to follow me on Instagram, tag me in your photos so I can see it. And um, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.